Okay. Why I quit making videos? I know I'm gonna put a like a title like, "This is why I quit." I haven't made anything in like weeks because uh, I got injured over years too. Like not only is my back, you know, you heard me whining about having a. Uh, let me stretch this. A uh, what's it? herniated? No, 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 no. It ruptured my disc. I have tons of arthritis in my back, low back. So I want to tell you, there's a reason I'm telling you this. Tons of arthritis. I've got bone spurs, degenerative, degenerative, degenerative. Oh my gosh, I've said this word a million times. Disc disease, whatever the frick. You know what I'm trying to say. I'm tongue tied all of a sudden. Anyway. And all that in my back, and he said the arthritis, the whole MRI, it was uh, my back, lower back's bad. But see, I was like, my neck's hurting. It's hurting so bad, it's making me nauseous. So then I went for my second MRI. I'm not a big fan of laying in them. Have you ever, uh, I don't like MRI. <laughs> so I went for my second one. Now my neck is worse than my lower back. It's got herniated discs. It's got bulging discs. It's got bone spurs, arthritis. But it's got massive, some kind of mass effect thing. These people are so intelligent, doctors and everything. They talk way over my head. I used to know a little bit, but now I don't know anything. And it's called a mass effect something. Something is pushing on my spine on one of my vertebrae. Like picture your spine like this is the way I understood it. There's something growing or swelled or burst, ruptured or something in there, and it's pushing, trying to push one of my vertebrae out of my spine. So I've got to have surgery quickly. So I'm going to have to, and I've got to have surgery on the rest of it. So it's going to be multiple surgeries for a long time. And I'm going to, this is a long road I'm on. And you're going to say, are you still going to mow? Yes. It, no matter how bad I'm, I'm in pain like you don't know, trust me. But I'm going to mow and I'm just going to have to have people weed eat with me. And if I do weed eat and lug like the backpack blower and when you're throwing it up on your back, I do it like it ain't nothing. Just I've just destroyed. When I wrecked or didn't wreck and I ran my head, I was going full blast on this Z, uh, standard. It goes, uh, you know, 10 and a half mile an hour ish rated. I thought I lit, squatted down enough. Apparently the tree, you know, had those sag over the years. This limb is like substantial. It's like a 10 inches in diameter, solid. It's more like a co-dominant limb than a, or its own tree. And I was wide open and I squatted down, listened to music and by golly, it hit right here. And this, I don't think it was this hat. It might've been, I had to wash it and pull the meat out of it. It freaking hit, I hit so hard that it ripped skin off because I didn't know it. I kept going. I seen stars. I kept about passing out. I knew I was hurt, but I, I'm stupid. I just kept on mowing. And then I was mowing and I was like, this don't feel like sweat. And I rubbed my brow right here. And I said, where the crap am I bleeding? My whole head was blood. There's blood all up. And I took my hat off and I seen the meat after I felt my head. And I was like, oh, it's like a hole. And I've got pictures of the meat in it. I can't share stuff like that <laughs> on here. They'll, you know, they'll delete the video. But anyway, I believe that's what got my neck. I mean, I hit, I'm talking so hard. You know, when you about cry and you literally black out a little bit and you kind of see stars. I think that's what did my neck. And I waited a month or two. I was in so much pain to even tell anybody about it. And you could say, am I that tough or am I that stupid? I'm that stupid. If you get hurt, like do something like that, that's very a lot of trauma. I sustained traumatic injury. I should have went instantly, but I didn't. I waited till I just can't take it no more. I was like, my neck was making me nauseous to where I feel like I'm passing out and I'm throwing up, feeling, oh, it's just, and apparently it's bad, it's bad, bad. So my whole spine is just, so why I'm telling you this, take care of yourself. 
I've lifted big heavy things like, you know, you gotta be tough in your 20s and 30s. And you do this, it's just the other part of it, not just hitting my head, the other back part and stuff is just from lifting, 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 bending, bending, lifting. Gravels, gravels, rock, rock, just, you know, you man and you think you, you know, you ain't, uh, you think you're 20, your whole life you'll think you're young in your head. Like I don't understand how my kids are as old, they're in their 20s. It, to me that, uh, I had them when I was young, yes, but uh, you just think you're going to be young and tough and can survive everything. You just, you can't. I've got news for you. I knew this. I used to work in an ambulance with, you know, EMT with my, all my buddies, and I've seen people just cleaning gutters and fall off the roof, and their life's completely changed if they survive. So here's my advice. As a, I'm not an old man. I say I am, but I'm not. I'm really not that old at all. Take care of yourself. Don't be a hero. Use a back brace when you're doing heavy. I'm being serious. I used to say, I ain't wearing no back brace. I got this. I don't got this. Well, am I strong enough to do things? Yeah, very much so. Except the arthritis right now. My, my back is so injured that it's causing pain. And Oh, I'm just screwed up right now. I can't hardly do anything. But I'm trying. I'm slowly working. Trying to. I haven't touched my mowers all winter. It's January 23rd right now, and I ain't touched them. They need uh, underneath scraped out and cleaned and the blades sharp, oils. I physically can't do it because when I bend over, sometimes I can't get back up. It locks. And the pain's so severe, I go to the ground. And then if I look down a little bit, my neck will hurt so bad. I've got pain patches and everything. Oh, man, I got all kinds. Woo, boys. I've always identified it's a hard worker. I wanted to be the hardest worker I knew, and I am. I surpassed everybody I've ever known. And I've known hard workers, but the people I know that's hard workers that worked all the time, I passed you. I'd work, you know, 12 hours mowing lawns by myself, back to back to back, 13, 15 lawns, and then come home and work in here in the shop. And then I'd go in the house and eat standing up, working in the house. I, just, I have been like that for years. Don't do what I do. I'm a complete idiot. That's not the proper terminology. Moron, or as somebody used to call it, a moran. <laughs> so, listen to me and my advice. I know you're not going to. If one person does and saves their back or injuries, I did my job. All I can do is tell you what I'm going through and what, but it's worse. There's other things. I've got, I think he said three compressed nerves, pinch nerves, three or four pinch nerves on top of all that. I've got it all, boys. And it's miserable. Right now it's just hurting. So I, what can you do? You either sit and re I have been resting a lot. That's why I ain't made no videos. I quit doing everything. I'm supposed to make videos for other things and this and that. I just can't. I can't do it. As long I can do stuff standing up. Man, I can squat a little bit. I've been working on it and I've been pushing myself a little bit because that thing in my neck, I cannot. I have to be careful so it don't do permanent, more permanent damage. I mean, it could really take me out. So I have to be, my neck's got to be, I gotta be gentle. So I think I can do things. I've been trying to sweep in the hat. You know, I do things. I'm not that bad crippled. It's just severe, well, I kinda am, but. <laughs> anyway, I hope y'all had a good, I don't know, man. I worked so much, this, this was my biggest year, best year, most profitable year, busiest year, and I paid for it. Like, I, and yes, I had helpers, three of them. It just ain't enough. I just, this year I'm going to have to hire me instead of just, you know, these working this and here and there. I'm going to have to keep somebody with me all the time to keep me from being stupid. And any heavy lifting, they're going to do it. So I need to find me an ideal candidate around Johnson City. If you need to, need to work, let me know. I can train somebody to mow real good and help me pay you good. So that's what that's what's going on. It sucks. Let me tell you, it's hard for my mind to admit that I'm broke down and I can't. 
You talk about somebody that works hard and I'm very prideful about how hard I work and now I can't do it. That takes a toll of the old noggin. So the building looks just like it does. I don't care. Ain't nothing I can do about it. Nothing. It's still, it's the same. Like, at least I got a camera. Like I got this new camera and mics and all this. I'm done. And I was so interested and going to do so much. And now I can't. So all my goals and so I'm going to have to slowly. Thank goodness I have this right here to pick my mowers, the front of them, so I can change the blades and stuff because Jared ain't getting up under stuff no more. I'm gonna, I have to do it real slow and take my time. I can do it, but I've got to be careful. So I'm not changing oil in my vehicles anymore. Of course, my, I've got my baby in here right now. He looks so pretty in here. That's a 2022 rim. I've got a video about when I first bought it. It hit 10,000 miles the other day. Yes, it's two years and one month old. I shared that video on YouTube. I bought it new. I mean, when I bought that thing, it had just come from the truck. So it hadn't even been unlocked from the, so it wouldn't do nothing. Except drive like three miles an hour or something like that. So I've had it since it's brand, brand new. And I've only put 10,000 miles on it. But... Hopefully, when this crap melts, we're going to take travel trailer back out. We won't go to Alabama, the beach. See, I can do stuff like that, sit up the travel trailer, just take my time. Oh. So I've got everything set up. I've, I bought one of these Harbor Freight boxes. for. I got two GoPros in here, all my memory cards, batteries. I've still got my antenna. My si This boosts cell phone signal in here that i got to put a big pole up outside. And I've got a TV antenna to put up there. I still watch TV. I come out here the other day and just watch TV, and I'm going through old movies. You see all them VHS tapes? Stuff like that I can do. But my building's still a disaster. I mean, I just, I'm going to try to get that backhoe out and stuff like that. I just can't move stuff. I can't even move my air compressor because I'll kill myself. But anyway, we can walk out here. So I still got my cabinets. Those are the two that's identical to that one and that one and then it's going to be the two right so it's going to look so cool if i could get down and put them together mm. shakaka i love this truck you don't even know oh so i can't hardly walk there's a good picture of the chevy i backed him up he, he lives in this building i keep him in here that's where this is where he goes that's why he has no snow on him we had four and a half inches of snow Four and a half. And it's today, it's just melting away, luckily. I gotta crank up the little rim. I ain't cranked him up in days. We had bad wind and it tore stuff up and blew stuff off my house even. And so I got all kinds of stuff fixed. It's been like minus 10 here and stuff. This has been a bad week. I mean, I still got snow over here. It's starting to melt in the field because the sun was hitting it. So, it's crazy. I got some videos of where I'm standing right now. And I'm gonna put it together before and after. I've got it where it was weeds here and trees there, right there. And all. See, not only was I working that much, I was still clearing land and everything here. I was using my little compactor machine over there that I can't use now to pack new soil. I've got 10,000 jobs. I got pipes up. I got so much stuff to, and I can't do anything. So it sucks. But anyway, I'll quit my wine fest. Cause that's all I know to do is wine right now. Cause I'm just old and broke down. Oh yeah. I need to get off here. I'm gonna, I gotta finish doing a few little things I'm doing and I'm gonna go sit down like I do. I'll go sit on the computer and watch YouTube videos or something stupid. That's not stupid. I love watching YouTube videos. I've been watching a lot of travel travel trailer, you know, RVs and stuff. I've watched that all the time. Because I'm obsessed with it. And it's fun. But anyway, there, there's this video was pointless. It's just a warning. Don't do what I do. It's that simple. Or did. <laughs> take care of yourself. I mean, big time. Really take care of yourself.
Nobody else is going to do it for you. You are the only one that's going to do it. You're the only one that really cares about you and your health because everybody else has got their own problems. So take my advice or don't. I mean, if you don't, you'll end up like me if you work as much as I do. Most people probably don't work as much as I do. So you'll probably never be in this shape. And I congratulate you because life is not about work. It's not. <clears throat> and I'm in the market. I've been wanting to buy me a Gen 4 three-quarter ton Ram to complement the Chevy three-quarter. And then I'd like to put a turbo and stuff on my little red rim. I don't know. Hemi's got enough power. I don't know. I'm just talking. But I might. I got to see the button. Peace and chicken grease.